Hi friends, Tina did it here and welcome back to my channel. Now that Easter is over, it's time to do some beach decor and Mother's Day, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> These two projects were super easy to make, um, but they turned out pretty cute, so I had to share with you. I made them using all Dollar Tree items, so if you want to see how I made this one, just keep on watching. To make this first one, I'm going to go in with a small vase from Dollar Tree and some caulk, and I'm going to add some texture to this. So here I am just spreading it all over the glass, and I'm just going to pat it, and I'm wearing gloves for this because some of it does get on your hand if you use your fingers, um, so I find that gloves work best, and I'm just going to cover the entire glass. If you'd like, you can go in with an X-Acto knife and draw something on there before it dries. But as for me, I just gave it some thickness, I guess if that makes sense, and some texture. That's what I was looking for. Now I'm going to go in with Saline Blue by Apple Barrel and I'm going to paint half of the glass only. I know it looks kind of odd right now, <laughs> but trust the process. But before I forget to mention, if you like videos that are straight on point and cute as simple projects like this one and definitely affordable, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button so you're notified every time I upload a video. And if you're new here, welcome, welcome. It's great to have you here. Now be sure to subscribe and click that bell because I have really cool projects coming up for you. And now I'm going in with some twine. Notice here I'm starting at the top of the glass, if that makes sense, just to cover up a little bit of that mess up there. And I'm just going to keep going around the glass. You can even cover the entire white part with twine. But as for me, I'm going to go in with a few strands, just going around and applying hot glue as I go. Now it's time to decorate it. I'm going to go in with one of my seashells and just glue it there. And we're done with the first one. We're going to go in and just add some stones in there. And I put in some onion grass and that's it. We're done with the first one. And here it is. I did add some seashells on top here, but the stones hold the onion gra grass in place and it's perfect. Now for the second one, I'm going to take some blue food coloring and Mod Podge to paint this glass. What this is going to do is it's going to, um, you're not gonna see it at first. You're gonna think that it's just regular paint, but it actually dries like clear well not clear like see-through if that makes sense so it kind of looks like the ocean it's a really cool effect so you're just going to go in with mod podge and i added three drops of blue food coloring and here is the result see how it looks see-through it's awesome i definitely love this technique and i love the way this one turned out now i'm going to go in with twine and i'm going to go in the center this time not at the top and just wrap it around the same way we did with the other one Now I'm going to take my seashells and instead of making them face down like the other one, I'm going to take four seashells and I'm going to have them facing up instead. And I'm just going to use hot glue and put them in place. Now you're going to see me doing the same thing. I'm adding the onion grass and the white um, stones in there. I'm going to keep adding stones until I get to the twine area um, or the twine line. So that's it for that one too. And yeah, these two projects were super easy to make. You have to give them a try and let me know what you think. Here is how it looks. And yeah, so let me know down in the comments what you think. You know I'd love to hear from you. So be sure to stop by the comment section and drop a comment there. Now, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more fun DIYs. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.